The top Tory rebel Mark Harper once again comes out to destroy Sajid Javid's department over the sacking of NHS workers. Now we have uh, recently been talking about Mark Harper quite a lot uh, because he's uh, become more visible in terms of being outspoken. Uh, he's one of the top rebels now alongside Steve Baker and many others. Uh, but he's very measured, he's very sensible, he's not a nutter. And uh, he is quite, he's focusing on issues that actually matter right now. For example, the NHS mandates, uh, the way the government are trying to, let's just say, encourage NHS workers uh, to uh, say yes to all the jabs and everything, the boosters. Now, the issue that we're currently facing is that by April, many of them, tens of thousands of NHS workers will be fired, which means a bigger NHS crisis, which means if they get fired, you know what they're going to do? Probably, basically, at this point, lockdown, because the NHS will be overwhelmed and they don't know exactly how to handle it. That's why Mark Harper stood up and said this. Her own department, signed off by her, thinks that 73,000 NHS staff will be leaving and 38,000 domiciliary care workers persuade people, not threaten them with the sack. And that's the whole point, persuade people, do not threaten them with the sack, because it, firstly, it's counterproductive. All, all the methods that politicians have been using since, uh, how long has it been now? Just over a year since we first announced Pfizer and Moderna came out afterwards. The method that we have been using across the world, and across, at least across the Western world, this country, firstly, the optic has been massive anyway. The majority of the majority have already taken. Now, then there's a tiny minority in every country that have always, have always been skeptical. That's one. But then they accidentally alienated a different group who were just skeptical and but then they, they forced it so much that now they're just not going to take it because they say well we don't trust you anymore uh, you know the, initially the bluff with the health passports which now right now it has become a you know the part of the the government's regulation with their kind of big venues that was used as a bluff a few months ago to scare people that was one area that was a big problem you created the culture of mob rule you got people to attack other people now you have people like andrew neil writing newspaper columns uh, attacking people based on you know their, their skepticism and apparently there's no such thing as exemption anymore medical exemption doesn't exist in the eyes of these idiots and then right now if you want people to take it including nhs workers persuade explain and then see if you can actually change people's minds don't force them and don't uh, do this kind of sacking because what's going to happen as i said the nhs will be overwhelmed there will be another crisis and then we'll have be, all have to be under lockdown or something worse they're going to take all our money to give it to this bottomless pit that we call the nhs it's a big problem but uh mark hopper came out to actually stand up for reality and common sense let me know what you think in the comment section thanks again for watching i'm my tc and we are the media